All right, we're going to start looking at a uh, little 5-2 here, which talks about right triangle trigonometry. We're going to learn how to use right triangles to evaluate trig functions, find function values for 45, 30, and 60 degree angles, recognize and use fundamental identities, use co, uh, equal co-function of complements, and evaluate trig functions with a calculator. We're also going to learn how to use right triangle trig to solve applied problems. First thing we're going to look at is uh, our three primary trig functions, so sine, cosine, and tangent. And one thing you need to know is uh, the abbreviation for each of these. Now you guys are all educated uh, students, so please make sure that you understand that these are just abbreviations. Don't go down and tell me that your tri three trig functions are sin, cos, and tan. Alright, so these three uh, letters actually stand for this right here. So that's why it's the sine of our angle, the cosine of our angle, and the tangent of our angle. So that way we can actually look educated as we communicate about our trig functions. Now each trig function has a ratio, and it's dependent on, upon the angle. And uh, our trig ratios for the sine of theta is going to be the opposite side over the hypotenuse. And you can just use three letter abbreviations to list those. Uh, the ratio for cosine is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And then the ratio for tangent is going to be opposite over adjacent. So those are your three primary trig functions. And you guys probably heard of some way that you can remember this. Uh, SOHCAHTOA is the nice little uh, acronym that they use. There's also some mnemonic devices that can help you remember these. But needless to say, you're going to need to know those. Now, not only do we have three primary trig functions, but we also have our secondary trig functions of cosecant, secant, and cotangent. And one thing you need to know about each of your trig functions is each one of the six trig functions has a reciprocal trig function. So the reciprocal of your cosecant is the sine. The reciprocal of secant is cosine. And the reciprocal of tangent, or cotangent, is tangent. So not only is secant the reciprocal of sine, or cosecant the reciprocal of sine, but sine is the reciprocal of cosecant. Secant's the reciprocal of cosine, cosine's the reciprocal of secant, tangent, cotangent, and cotangent, tangent. Now the abbreviations for each of these, the abbreviations for cosecant is CSC, the abbreviations for secant is SEC, and the abbreviations for cotangent is COT. Now, I really don't have each of these memorized, but I do have their connection to the primary trig function. So, uh, cosecant's the reciprocal of sine, so I know sine is opposite over hypotenuse. This would be hypotenuse over opposite. Secant's the reciprocal of cosine. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. This will be hypotenuse over adjacent. And then lastly, uh, cotangent's the reciprocal of tangent. Tangent's opposite over adjacent. So this will be adjacent over opposite. Now we're going to have a uh, quiz over this stuff and what you need to know. Each trig function, I could say, for example, there are six trig functions. I can ask three questions for each. I'll give you, I'll go through the cosecant. I'll say, what is the ratio of the sides of the triangle for the cosecant of theta? And you'd be expected to tell me hypotenuse over opposite. I could say, uh, which trig function has the ratio hypo hypotenuse over opposite? And you would tell me cosecant. And then lastly, I would say which trig function is the reciprocal of cosecant, and you would tell me sine. So make sure you're prepared for your quiz.